Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, CAMEX 101. Um, we will be providing an overview today on our upcoming event. We're just waiting a few moments to get started. While we're waiting for everyone to join, we have a quick poll asking um, what your CAMEX status is. Are you a newbie, a returning attendee, or a CAMEX vet? Feel free to participate and we will share the results as we get started. All right, great. It looks like we have um, quite a few new attendees, as well as second place, 35% are CAMEX veterans have attended three or more years. And then we have 24% of our attendees on the webinar today are returning with one to two years. All right, let's go ahead and get started, everyone. Welcome to CAMEX 101 webinar. Um, if you're on the fence about attending, here's why you should sign up. I um, will be your MC today, kind of walking you through. Um, our agenda today for the webinar, will share a welcome and opening remarks from the presidents of our host organizations, um, provide safety updates and guidelines for the in-person experience in Dallas, We'll share the daily highlights um, from the exhibitor perspective, networking, and the conference program for each of the three days of CAMEX, and dive deeper into the conference program and education provided, and then look at the exhibit hall. And we'll follow up at the conclusion with any final questions um, that you may have about the event. So to kick off, I'll turn over to Cindy Squires and Zane Clark from ACMA and CMP. Thank you very, very much appreciate that. And I welcome everyone to the orientation webinar for CAMEX 21. Yeah, thanks, Cindy, and welcome everybody. I, you know, I, I was interested to see the poll. I count myself in that 41% of, of newbies, right? I think we, we both are. You and me both, right? That's right. <laughs> um, but hey, I, I'm really excited. I know the team is to be excited to be back in Dallas this year. Um, I think we were last there in 2018, and this kind of really is a culmination and, and a return. I think back to March of 2020, and at the time we thought, hey, this might be a couple week, maybe a two week hiatus. And you know, and you, you, everybody else knows how the story ended. Um, so it's crazy to think that now we're just 20 days away from CAMEX, and, and we're really excited to reconnect as an industry. Yeah, Zane, believe it or not, it's been 756 days since we last came together for CAMEX wow. in Anaheim 2019. So that's a long time to wait to get back together. Um, and as you all know, CAMEX is where the industry comes together, and that has significant meaning this year. It is also the only in-person composite industry expo in North America in over a year. So I think it's kind of important. Yeah, 756 days, that, that is crazy. And uh, 
you know, I think we've learned a lot over the last 18 months. We've seen how our businesses have been resilient and innovative <clears throat> and found different ways to, to do business, but nothing really can replace that that synergy and that energy and that value that happens from in-person events. And so our focus this year is really on delivering that quality experience that you've come to expect from Chemex. And we're, we're just really excited to see how the industry has, has responded and have, has been committed to showing up. Absolutely, and very excited to say that we've got nearly 400 exhibiting companies that are going to be on site and ready to get back to business. And I don't know about you, I'm excited that we're going to be doing some events at the ACMA booth, and I'm sure, Zane, you've got some planned in yours as well. We do. We are, are very excited about the kind of the, the community that each of our organizations get to bring together um, in this kind of industry spectacular, if you will. And it's it's great to see such a strong exhibitor turnout. That really helps us create this dynamic marketplace and it, it fuels a lot of the innovation that our industry experiences through the showcases that have had. And so in addition to the exhibits, we are really gonna deliver a, a robust conference program. So as this webinar goes on, you're gonna hear about the, the full of agenda that we have scheduled. You're gonna hear more about the exhibits, uh, the 120 education sessions and technical papers, the live demos that we have and, and that networking. And so this is all that part to kind of start to map out what your CAMEX experience is going to look like. So I think you're gonna find the information today extremely valuable. Absolutely, and you know we we understand our members, our manufacturers. Safety is always first, and the same goes with Camex. We are going to keep safety top of mind. We're going to make sure that it's a memorable return of the North American's largest composites industry expo. So to start things off, we will walk through our safety protocols and our guidelines to ensure your safety at Camex. So Chris, why don't you take it away? Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Zane. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Locke, Director of Marketing, Membership, and Education here at CMPE, the Society for the Advancement of Material and Process Engineering. Um, real quick overview of what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to cover safety protocols, international travel and visa information, and our cancellation policy. So according to the latest Freeman and uh, Epps, I'm sure I mis mispronounced that, but it's a Delta impact study that came out in August. And what the surveys and the studies said was that business can happen safely. Um, participants have, um, in general, a vaccination rate of 80% or higher. And in-person business events have a high vaccination rate, which drastically cuts the transmissibility of COVID-19. So also most major convention centers and hotels have significantly upgraded their systems and most spaces are huge and are similar to outdoor transmissibility. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So let's talk about some of the new safety protocols happening at CAMEX 2021. First of all, masks are requested as part of our bigger sense of duty of care, which is a term simply meaning a requirement that a person act towards others and the public with the watchfulness, attention, caution, and prudence that a reasonable person, a reasonable person in these circumstances would use. So common sense. This also means that we are not requiring proof of vaccination at this time. So um, on this slide, you can see we have some social distancing stickers, which will be offered to all exhibitors, attendees, and guests, which can be placed on your badge and can be changed out at any time during CAMEX if you ever want to, if you ever change your mind about what you want to do with that social distancing with your colleagues. Um, we'll also have a lot of physical distancing at CAMEX. A lot of protocols are in place for this year, um, and a lot of the accommodations are built into our program. So, for example, at the general session, um, we'll have seating that will be offered with varied levels of safe distancing. So, if you, for example, if you've traveled with a, a group of people, it, you can all sit together, which is fine. Or if you'd rather sit alone and away from folks, you can do that as well. So our education programs for that, we will have reduced capacity for sessions. Um, tables will have more space between attendees to accommodate various levels of comfort. 
Um, we'll also have touchless registration and online measures as well. All attendees are strongly encouraged to register online prior to arriving at the expo at the convention center. Um, our online registration will remain open throughout the event and your badge will be emailed to you directly in a printable format. Um, starting next week. So be sure to bring your printed badge with you and pick up your lanyard on site along with your Camex branded bag. Um, we'll have um, contactless badge scanning um, offered all throughout the convention sessions or conference sessions as well. So um, the city of Dallas and the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center Dallas, which is a, a very long word for the convention center we're going to be at, has gone to great measures to ensure a safe experience while in their city. So there's a whole lot of acronyms that you see on this slide, but basically what it means is that there's international, national, and stateside um, protocols that have been put into place at the convention center in Dallas. Um, you can see them all here. What I'm really liking is the UV light purification in the elevators, on the escalator handrails, that they're really increasing the amount of outside air that comes in. Um, and then also that the places that have a lot of those frequent touch points like door handles, um, escalator rails are always going to be dis disinfected on a regular basis. We'll have sanitizer bottles everywhere. Don't forget to bring your own as well. And that will also have some food and beverage safety measures in place as well. So um, in addition to that, on the next slide, you're going to see some of the measures that the convention center in particular has taken. So while you're specifically in the convention center, these are some of the things that you'll see in place. And when we went to do some site visits here at the convention center, it was very clear that all of these protocols were definitely in place. And I would also add that um, the Omni Hotel and all of the restaurants and places we went to visit in Dallas were also following a lot of these measures too, to just ensure that the guests and the visitors to their city feel safe. So that gave me great peace of mind. So um, the COVID-19 cancellation policy, let's talk about that real quick. Um, that's something that has changed a little bit um, for 2021. The CAMEX team feels strongly um, that we want to encourage our registrants that have a positive COVID-19 test to refrain from attending CAMEX. Um, I think that's good common sense. Um, and so we've changed our policy a little bit. So now registration is 100% refundable, or you can transfer it over to CAMEX Plus, which you'll hear about more in a moment. Um, and for anyone who does contract uh, COVID-19 within 14 days of the event dates um, and can show proof of a positive test, 100% difference um, of in-person versus that CAMEX Plus virtual will all be refunded um, if the CAMEX Plus option is chosen. So the, in the event that the registrant is no longer able to attend CAMEX, substitutions of a business colleague or coworker will be accepted until one week prior to the start of the expo. The original registrant just needs to email their information um, to the email address you see on the screen there. And um, just note that we can't take cancellation requests over the phone, it has to be in writing. Um, and that for more of this information on our standard cancellation and registration policies, just go to the registration page on the CAMEX website. So for international travel and visa information, this, this is an ever evolving subject and something that has been of great concern to a, a few of our international guests. But the good news is that CAMEX is open for business for everyone, including our international exhibitors and guests. Um, but uh, because of the pandemic, it also means that there are new travel restrictions and exceptions. Um, so because of that, and because these restrictions and um, exceptions are always evolving, we have some recommendations. The first one is to visit the CDC's travel page at cdc.gov. Um, and there you'll see some information about how you'll need to get a viral test no more than three days before you travel by air into the US and show your negative results um, to the airline before you board the flight. Uh, be prepared, be, just be prepared to show your documentation of recovery or um, a proof of recent positive viral tests and a letter from your healthcare provider. And again, all of this is on the CDC website. Um, 
And then the COVID-19, just because of that situation with the, the pandemic, um, including the spread of newer concerning variants, all of these rules differ from country to country. I was talking to some folks in Germany and it's easier for them than somebody that we, I was talking to in France, for example. Um, so all travelers need to pay close attention to the conditions at their destination before they're traveling. Um, and definitely talk to the, um, go visit the U.S. Department of State's travel restrictions and exception, exceptions page on the travel.state.gov website. There's some really great information in there, but again, evolving a lot because as of um, September 15th, there are four presidential proclamations that suspend entry into the U.S. for all non-citizens who are physically present in any of over 33 countries, I think it is, um, during the 14-day period preceding their entry or attempted entry into the U.S. So visit the website and to learn more. So I've thrown a lot of information at you. Are there any questions so far? Hey, Chris, this is Carmen. Um, you've done a great job answering them. A few did come in um, specifically about proof of vaccination and then also um, some guidelines for the international travel. Um, and then just to reiterate, for, you know, if you need assistance with any international travel, we do have a dedicated page on the website um, that does provide these links. And um, since it is so different from country to country, we do recommend that you reach out to um, your local embassies uh, or U.S. embassies where you're from. Correct. Um, yeah, the U.S. embassies are a great resource. I've been sending a lot of people there and they're finding the information they need. Yeah. Um, and then there was a, just a couple of questions specifically about social distancing um, in the exhibit hall and in the meeting rooms. Um, and if I, I can address some of those. So for the exhibit hall, um, we do have wide aisles. There's a large 20 foot aisle, um, main aisle that runs across the exhibit hall. So it allows for plenty of space um, and, and able to distance yourself out. There will be dedicated entrances and exits into the exhibit hall. Um, and then the meeting rooms are set um, with um, enough space between people. So there's about three to four feet between individuals. Um, and then our general session room um, will be set um, still in theater style, but again, recognizing that you may be traveling with people. So there's clusters of chairs and then breaks um, to allow for distancing between individual groups. Yeah, that's right. And don't forget, everything is big in Texas, including the convention center. So there's tons of space everywhere for folks to feel safe and comfortable. So um, if there's no more questions for me, I'm going to hand it over to Barry Black with ACMA to go over our daily highlights. Barry, take it away. Hi, everyone. My name is Barry Black. I'm Associate Director of Marketing at the American Composites Manufacturers Association. Um, today, I want to just walk you through the highlights during these three jam-packed days um, with nearly 400 exhibitors representing hundreds of the industry's leading brands. Um, we'll feature ample time for networking and knowledge sharing with industry leaders and technical experts, and you'll have access to the latest education and technical knowledge with more than 100 sessions and technical sessions. Um, and presentations. So on day one, we'll kick off at 8.30 a.m. with the general session featuring keynote speaker Greg Ulmer, who is Executive Vice President of the, Aer of the Aeronautics Business Area at Lockheed Martin Corporation. Uh, Mr. Ulmer has over 30 years of experience in the defense and aerospace industries, and he will share an um, insightful and inspirational keynote focusing on composites innovations, advanced manufacturing technology, and the future of the aerospace factory. Um, he will share more about the future of aviation within Lockheed Martin and provide an overview of the company, including um, a little bit about how they're leveraging the, the digital thread and how it's being enabled for advanced manufacturing and materials technologies, as well as a look and a sneak peek into the next generation of products emerging from Lockheed Martin. During the general session, we'll also announce the CAMEX award winners, um, which is going to be an exciting um, opportunity to see who will finally win this year's, um, one of this year's top industry honors. 
following the general session, we'll open the exhibit hall and you'll be able to um, browse and get back reconnected into um, the business and marketplace that CAMEX is really known for. Um, over 400 exhibitors are, or nearly 400 exhibitors are already confirmed. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about the exhibit hall experience later. Day one will also be a day of announcements of innovations in our industry. The CAMEX Awards winners will be announced, but they will also be uh, highlighted in the exhibit hall and in the CAMEX pavilion. And they will be presenting all of the finalists um, as well as some of the winners will be on site at noon on day one to kind of walk you through and kind of share the details about their presentations and what they've submitted this year. In addition to that, the awards for Composites Excellence, um, those winners will be announced at 2 p.m. in the ACE Pavilion. And then closing out uh, the day, we'll also have a welcome reception at 5 p.m. Um, social distancing will be in place and we're looking at outside options for that as well. Day two really looks is an opportunity to dive deeper into the exhibit hall experience. Um, Camex Park Place is our new um, hub for innovation, knowledge sharing and networking, um, formerly known as Innovation Park, Camex Park Place. Um, will feature our campfire sessions, which allow you to interact with subject matter experts and like-minded peers to voice your ideas about new trends and industry developments um, with, you know, with your peers and new colleagues. There will also be an opportunity to schedule personalized meetups on topics that you're interested in um, that might not be covered during the campfire sessions. There'll be areas for networking um, and opportunities to kind of just relax in the space known as CAMEX Park Place. In addition to um, the exhibits, there are live demos and presentations that'll be taking place. The Closed Mold Alliance will be returning, um, which is one of Composites One's offering, um, and there'll be technical presentations held throughout the day, um, or throughout all three days in the CAMEX Theater. And then on day two, we also have lots of networking taking place. Um, the composite professional, uh, the young professionals meetup will take place at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, that will be in the restaurant Herrera across from the convention center. And then following that, we'll have a market segment reception taking place at 5 p.m. So opportunities to network, um, see technical innovations and manufacturing taking place live and in person, as well as opportunities to um, engage with subject matter experts on the topics and trends that are really fueling the industry. Day three um, will conclude with a breakfast starting at 8 a.m. called Good Day CAMEX. Um, this will be one of the final opportunities for networking um, at the event. And this year's panel discussion will feature uh, Co-CEO Megan Multenin, along with her father and uh, Best Bath founder and chairman of the board, Gary Multenin. Um, so we'll take a look during that panel discussion, which will be moderated by Composites One's Marcy Offner, to take a look at um, what these two CEOs have learned from one another, where they differ, and kind of looking at the dynamic of um, a, a Family, but family run business and just how multi-generational companies um, can find success in the marketplace. Um, after the Camp Good Day CAMEX sessions, all will be taking place in the exhibit hall as opposed to um, the area in the convention center that was, uh, that was used previously. Um, the exhibit hall will also, you know, this is your last opportunity to meet with exhibitors on day three. So the exhibit hall will be closing at 1 p.m. as you plan out your days. We have two tools that are uh, set up to help you make the most out of your CAMEX experience. The My CAMEX Planner is a web-based tool that's, uh, that's hosted on the Map Your Show platform and allows you to personalize your CAMEX experience. Um, you can add the exhibitors and sponsors that you're interested in, in meeting with um, and review their profiles on the, on the web page. You're able to save sessions, schedule appointments, um, and save presentations that you're interested in viewing. 
and all of the um, all of the options that you select sync uh, seamlessly with your Camex app. The Camex app is available on iOS and Android devices. Um, as I mentioned, it syncs. Also, anything that you've saved from the My Cam Camex Planner will be housed, and you'll have a full personalized schedule on the Camex app as well. But you're also there, you can find the most up-to-date agenda and any important announcements. You're able to browse the conference program and save sessions that you're interested in, as well as browse the exhibit hall floor and exhibits and networking opportunities. So with that, I'd like to open up, we'll have a short poll um, just to ask, what are you most excited to get back to at CAMEX? Our theme this year is welcome back. Um, are you more interested in networking, seeing the innovations, uh, learning more in our education program about new materials, technology, applications, or are you there really to form new business relationships and partnerships? What are you most excited to get back to at CAMEX? And let's see. Most of our attendees today are, it's kind of a three-way tie, um, definitely networking and forming new business relationships is one of the top options. And then with 26%, we have learning about new materials and technology and applications. Well, the opportunity to learn and education um, is one of the major benefits of CAMEX. Uh, we have one of the most robust conference programs in the world for the composites and advanced materials industry. So I'll hand it over to Martha and Rocio to discuss uh, the conference program. Hi, everyone. My name is Rocio Figueroa, and I'm SAMPI's education manager and part of the education program team um, of CAMEX. And we are glad to be back in person being able to offer a robust educational program. Um, as you can see from the slide, we've got 20 education sessions that we'll be offering um, on site and 74 technical paper presentations. Um, that means uh, over 163 speakers and moderators and seven featured um, sessions. In addition, we have 42 on demand um, sessions at, offered with CAMEX Plus. And what's great about CAMEX Plus is that. Um, you know, we've all been in that situation where you want to attend two different sessions and you can't choose and you're trying to figure out which one to attend. So CAMEX Plus offers um, the solution for that problem. Right, Martha? Yeah, very good. Um, so um, I'm Martha Loam, Director of Education at ACMA. I work uh, directly with Rocio um, in helping with our education planning at CAMEX. Um, and so that's a really good point, Rocio. Um, on this slide, we really want to touch base on kind of what's being offered in person at Dallas um, and what's being offered on CAMEX Plus. Um, live in Dallas, like Rocio said, we're going to be offering a total of 94 technical papers and education sessions, um, plus the featured sessions. Um, recordings for all 94 sessions are going to be available on CAMEX Plus as they happen live. Um, and are available for both in-person and CAMEX Plus attendees. So this is what Rocio was talking about. If there's something you wanted to attend but aren't able to attend, you'll still be able to access that recording um, online. Um, and all of these recordings will be available um, through December. Um, so you'll have a little bit of time to make sure you get to everything that you want to watch. Um, CAMEX Plus is also going to exclusively host an additional 42 on-demand sessions. So in addition to those 94 sessions, We'll have an additional 42 sessions that are going to be available on demand only, and you can access those um, anytime you'd like, um, whether in your hotel room, traveling back from CAMEX, um, or once you get back to the office. Um, in addition to all of the sessions, a little bit of the breakdown for what you'll have access to um, for other areas, in person or CAMEX Plus, regardless of how you're registered, you'll have access to the full conference proceedings. And so that's going to be all of the technical papers that have been written um, by our presenters this year. Um, in person, you'll obviously have access to the general session and Good Day CAMEX Live. Um, we will have recordings 
of the featured session, general session, and the Good Day CAMAX session available on the CAMAX Plus platform later in the week. Um, so whether you're in Dallas or you're on CAMAX Plus, you'll be able to have access um, to all of those sessions. Um, I think the next thing we wanted to cover here, Rocio, did you want to talk a little bit about the breakdown of some of these sessions? I know we've got a really well-rounded program this year, so why don't you uh, dive into the breakdown? Absolutely. Um, we do have a very well-balanced program. We have, the, as you can see by this pie chart, um, the manufacturing processing tracks, um, um, additive manufacturing, and advanced materials um, make up the majority, but we do have representation from all of our other tracks, or green and sustainability, the design analysis and simulation, the bonding and joining, non-destructive um, evaluation and um, materials testing, as well as the market applications. So there's something for everyone, for sure. Right, um, and that really also um, carries over into our featured sessions. So we've got seven featured sessions this year that we've been talking about. Um, you can see here our full slate. There's a little bit of something from everyone. We cover everything from graphene uh, to the marine industry. And we've also diversified the format of our sessions this year. Um, we've got some smaller, more conversational panels, um, like the trend outlook that Jeff Sloan's going to be hosting. Um, and then the session that you see here, Technology Trends at GE, and that's going to be an interview uh, with Dr. Lynn um, and one of our SAMPI uh, technical staff that is involved in our planning. Um, another feature that we're excited about this year is the thermoplastic composite session on Thursday that you see at the bottom of the list here. That's actually going to be hosted in the exhibit hall in the CAMAX theater. It's going to be open to all CAMAX attendees this year, um, regardless of your badge type. So everyone's um, invited to join for that one. I um, mean, that's actually going to be kind of three sessions that we host all together. They're all going to be related to thermoplastic composites, um, and they're all going to be hosted Thursday morning um, in the CAMAX theater. And then finally, not on this list, uh, we're announcing right now, you guys are the first to hear about it. Uh, we've got a new featured session that we're going to be adding to the program. Uh, this one's going to be hosted on Wednesday afternoon, and it's called Ultra Competitive Composites for the Future of Aviation and Aerospace. And um, the session is going to feature a discussion um, with the VP of Research and Development um, here at Cindy Hoover. Uh, she's going to be joined by Kimberly Caldwell. She's the Senior Manager of R&D Strategy. Um, and then Blaise Bergman is a Technical Fellow and Distinctive Capability Leader at Spirit. Um, and so they're going to be talking about plans to develop composite manufacturing capabilities um, at an equivalent price point to metal. So we're really excited to be adding this one to the program, um, and we'll be sending out more information about that soon. Um, and then with that, um, Carmen, did we have any questions that came in about programming? Um, just a few. You've done a great job um, at covering everything. There were a couple of questions about um, CAMEX Plus, if that's available for in-person um, or uh, for what's available online. So I just wanted to reiterate that if you are, if you do have the full conference badge for in-person, you also have full access to CAMEX Plus. So just as Rocio noted, you know, you have two sessions you want to choose from. If you're, you know, you choose one on site, you can go back and watch the other one on demand later. Um, and uh, while there isn't a true virtual exhibit hall during the event, we did want to also acknowledge that um, exhibitors will be available to chat through the floor plan, through uh, CAMEX Plus after the event ends. Um, so that is another opportunity there. Um, if you are an international attendee that purchased a full conference registration and uh, were not granted an NIE exception, we can transfer that to the virtual CAMEX Plus only option. Um, so then you do still have the full access to CAMEX Plus online. And we will look forward to seeing you next year. <laughs> um, there was also a question about shuttle buses. Um, the hotels are really Oh, I think she froze that. in close proximity to the convention center. So we don't have shuttle buses this year. Um, there are a little bit further. That's it. Okay. Um, 
Very good. Um, I see we did have one other question um, that's come through here. Um, someone's asked about uh, more specific content that's available um, that Rocio was talking about, the different breakdown. I would really encourage everyone to check out my CAMEX planner um, that Barry was talking about. That's got our full schedule. So it's got the list of everything that's going to be hosted on site, everything that's going to be listed on demand. And you can go ahead and start saving those sessions to your planner. Um, so that when you download the app, when you get on site, everything syncs up and you've got your schedule. Um, so you can take a, a sneak peek at what we're going to be offering on site. Um, someone has asked if the general session is available on CAMEX Plus. Yes, the general session, um, Good Day CAMEX and the featured sessions will all be recorded and they will be available at the end of the week um, on CAMEX Plus for all the CAMEX Plus attendees to watch. Um, and again, that'll be available through the end of December. Um, and then Barry, I think you have one more poll um, for the day before um, we start talking about the exhibit hall a little bit here. Yeah, we're asking uh, for those who are attending today, who is planning to attend CAMEX this year? Are you planning to attend in person with CAMEX Plus? Are you not attending this year or still undecided? And I think looks like almost 80% of you are planning to attend in person and 7% are looking at the virtual option, 7% are not attending, and 7% are still undecided. All right, well, let's take a look at the exhibit hall, which is a major feature that everyone's looking forward to. Um, we'll hand it over to John Catapano. Thank you, Barry. Um, can everybody see my screen and the exhibit hall floor map? Yes, John, looks good. Yes. Excellent, excellent. So yes, my name is John Catapano. I am the business development manager for the American Composites Manufacturing Association, and I'm also part of a two-person business development team for the annual CAMEX show. My uh, colleague and counterpart at Sampi, Efren Pavone, um, shares the role that I do working with companies in our marketplace um, on their annual exhibit and sponsorship strategy. So what I want to do is uh, give you a quick um, overview of the exhibit hall. Um, I'm told I don't have a lot of time, so I hope everyone has their running shoes on because we're going to zip through the exhibit hall real quick. Um, in case you've never been to this convention center, it is connected to the Omni Hotel, so it's in close proximity to um, the exhibit hall. Uh, when you are entering the exhibit hall, you have two options, uh, either to enter through Lobby E or Lobby F. Lobby F is where registration is going to take place. So if you do decide to enter here, um, you will be quickly greeted by some of our long-term exhibitors, such as INEOS, AOC, AirTech, AOP, Pollant Reichold, and Juicy USA. Um, but for today's tour, I'm going to go through Lobby E, and we're going to walk west. And the first thing I wanted to point out to you is the CAMEX Theater. So the CAMEX Theater is going to be open on Tuesday and Wednesday during the full exhibit hall hours. Um, this is an opportunity for exhibitors uh, to conduct either 25 or 50 minute presentations. Um, it's on the exhibit hall floor, so it's easy to get to. Um, these are scheduled, so if you're interested in learning about, you know, who is conducting these presentations and what topics um, they'll be presenting on, and that is available on the CAMEX website. We go north, uh, we are approaching the CAMEX Awards. Um, these, are, these awards recognize innovations um, that have the potential to significantly impact uh, the composites and advanced materials uh, in, the in the marketplace. Uh, the CAMEX Award will be awarded to game-changing entries that reflect the depth and breadth of the CAMEX theme, which is combined strength and unsurpassed innovation. And this year, the 2021 CAMEX Awards are sponsored by Composites One. It's going to move us north, and I'm going to take us to the ACE Awards. Uh, the ACE Awards stand for the Awards for Composite Excellence. Um, they are 
hosted by the American Composites Manufacturing Association. This um, long-standing awards program will present awards in three categories at Chemex. They include design, manufacturing, and market growth. And uh, again, the 2021 ACE Awards are sponsored by Composites One. If we go left or west, um, you'll see the Chemex Exhibitor Lounge. This is an area where um, exhibitor personnel can go and conduct meetings. Um, they can grab a beverage, they can sit and rest for a little while. But also in this area, and it's kind of my favorite area because this is where I'll be uh, for most of Chemex, this is where uh, Efren and I will be located. Um, you'll see two sales offices there. Um, and this is where if you are looking to explore an opportunity to exhibit at the next Chemex, uh, you could sit down with us, we'll show you the floor plan. You can even reserve your booth um, for the next Chemex, which is October 17th through the 20th, and it's going to be held in Anaheim, California. If you leave the Chemex Exhibitor Lounge, um, you'll notice that the two host organizations of Chemex will have booth spaces as well. So you see SAMPI at H101, and the ACMA booth is at L117. Um, this is a great place to stop by. You can learn more about membership for both organizations, learn about future events that the organizations are holding, um, learn about educational opportunities, government affairs, and a lot more. So we'll be excited to meet with you um, in those booth spaces. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the east and you take a look at the, scroll out a little bit. Um, this is a stairwell and this is a ramp that connects both sides of the exhibit hall, which is Hall E, Hall D, and Hall F. Here's the main aisle, and if I walk to the center of the main aisle of Hall F, um, it was mentioned a little earlier, but the Composites One and the Closed Mold Alliance Demo Zone will be at U27 next to the Composites One um, standard boot space. Uh, this demo zone is a very popular and must-see area of the exhibit hall. Um, it's a, comprised of four industry experts founded by Composites One. Um, also includes Magnum Venus Products, RTM North Technologies, and the newest partner, Aerovac. Um, from introduction and education to tooling resources to implementation and consultation, the, mold, the Closed Mold Alliance operates with one mission in mind, and that's to provide leadership, knowledge, training, and resources for the successful evolution of closed mold processes. I'm going to walk north and we're going to head towards the hub at Camex Park Place to say hello to our friends at Owens Corning and Albany, Albany Engineered Composites. And here we are at the hub at Camex Park Place. If you've ever been to Camex before, this was formerly known as Innovation Park. Um, this is a very uh, popular exhibit hall attraction with designated areas for learning networking and inspiration. Um, it's an opportunity uh, to exchange ideas, to collaborate, and most importantly, to make new, new connections with industry professionals. Uh, there also will be campfire sessions that will be held at the Hub at Park Place. And this is an opportunity to learn from subject matter experts in um, a very collaborative setting. And lastly, if we walk east, now that I know that everybody's so tired out from this tour, We've got the Camex food and beverage area where everybody can sit down, rest, grab a beverage, grab some food, network, uh, talk to uh, your, your colleagues and uh, you know, have some rest. So if anybody has any questions, if, anybody, if any questions came through, Carmen, I'd be happy to answer them. Frank, um, yep, we have one question uh, that came in. Mm -hmm. Um, will you be able to find and use an interactive floor plan in the app? Um, yes. Which is, a, which is a great question. Go ahead. Yeah, correct. There will be an interactive floor plan in the Camex mobile app. There is um, at every Camex. And I believe you can also, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Carmen, but you're able to kind of plan out who you want to meet on the app by clicking different exhibitors at, their, at the spaces where they're located um, in uh, Dallas. Yep, exactly, John. If you, um, we encourage you all to um, set up an account in the MyCamX Planner that customizes it for you, that allows you to select exhibitors that you want to see, sessions you want to attend, um, any of the networking events, 
um, that'll make your personal schedule. And then uh, that all translates to the app. So the app is available next week for download. Um, so you can build out your schedule and all of the um, items that you've added to your schedule will then populate. So you have that available on site. Um, and the, there is a wayfinder with the floor plan, which is great. You put in, I'm near this booth, I wanna go to this booth, and it draws a map for you of how to get there. Uh, there was one other exhibitor service question, um, yeah. just about shipping exhibitor booths to the convention center. Yeah. Um, we can provide uh, links in the follow-up email uh, for the Freeman Exhibitor Service Kit and the Service Center, uh, but all of that information is available um, within the Freeman Service Kit for exhibitors. All right, Carmen, are those all of our questions for today? I guess yep, so. Yeah, very sorry. I was just taking a look to make sure. Yep, those are what I have. All right. Well, we want to thank everyone for joining us today for our, our CAMEX 101 orientation webinar. Um, hopefully, this information is beneficial to you as you make your plans to. Um, return to CAMEX in Dallas in just a few short weeks. Um, I want to thank the team and everyone for joining us. If you have any questions, I think we have a closing slide that has um, email and contact information for our show organizers, um, our exhibits and sponsorship team, sales and services, as well as our media partner, Gardner Business Media, um, for any official show products or advertising in the show directory and show dailies. Um, so we're here to help you make the most of your CAMEX experience. Again, thank you. Um, if you have any other inquiries or need to access the My CAMEX Planner, that's available on the homepage of the CAMEX website. It's thecamex.org. And we look forward to seeing you all in Dallas. Thank you. <laughs>